Hi, this is Barry Trachtenberg with the CardioSource Fit blog. I'm from the University of Miami. I have with me a special guest, Dr. Mauricio Cohen, who, uh, forgive me, you're from the University of... Miami. Miami. Right, University of Miami. Uh, Dr. Cohen, if you could uh, tell us a little bit about what's exciting at ACC, particularly in the interventional world. Well, um, everything is exciting always at the ACC, especially the late-breaking clinical trials. We're learning a lot about new antithrombotic agents. In terms of uh, the interventional world, I think we're learning more about uh, transcatheter valve technologies, uh, how to best select the populations, and uh, how to best pin the techniques that are going to be the way we treat our patients in the future. So I think that that's, uh, that's very exciting. I have a special guest here with me today, Dr. William O'Neill, also from the University of Miami. And uh, Dr. O'Neill, if you could tell us uh, what you recommend uh, for the fellows when they're at ACC, anything? Yeah, I think that uh, you want to go see the science, so a lot of the posters and late-breaking trial sessions, but uh, a unique thing for the fellows here, and I really, really strongly encourage, is go to visit the exhibitor booths. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time this morning, and uh, for some reason this year, uh, the exhibitors are actually allowed to show devices that aren't available in the United States yet. So I spent some time with new uh, crowded uh, uh, protection devices for TAVI, uh, a couple of new TAVI products that are available, uh, some uh, uh, distal protection devices, uh, left atrial appendage occlusion, all that stuff that we don't have in the U.S. yet. But uh, it's fun for you guys to sort of see what's coming down the road because you're going to be using it in three or four years. Any, uh, any special trials that you've been following this uh, ACC that you've been impressed with? Uh, we looked, uh, I looked at the uh, advanced registry, the large European registry for the core valve, and I thought that had some, some really, uh, really, really good results. And then an acute MI trial that Greg Stone presented on uh, abcixumab infusion intracoronary for anterior MI. I thought that was a pretty important trial.